Sleepy's not amazing here. Either. Not super what we want to see, but we'll see. Let's see where we go with this. So, okay. Well, we know we're playing green, so. Um, and we know he's not going to be able to get Natty Tron, so. So, Snail Blossom. And... See what he gets. I mean, obviously, he's going to get Power Plant or Mine. Okay, got a mine. Okay, now he has the power plant. So, so he does have. He'll have it next turn. Um, the only thing we can really do is borrower. Uh, we really need a land. Lander counter spell. Because Drown doesn't do anything yet. I mean, yeah, there we go. So we'll just, uh, we're just going to wait. He's going to have eight mana available to him. He'll be able to draw. Um, so, but masterminding this draw is probably not going to be awesome. Um, so we're, we're going to... This puts us in territory... For Olamog. He has five available to him. We're gonna put the mastermind out. Like maybe him getting a bunch. Cause he's gonna have six. He he's in Olamog territory, so but we're gonna we're gonna throw down Mastermind here. Okay. Really needed that land, so. And if you all mogs and it, see, this is the problem with all mog. Just now we're back at square one. Granted, we got a blossom going, but he's he just wins here. Like this is kind of ridiculous. So if they take all mog away from the deck, um, you know we we stomp this matchup if they take all mog away. It's the on cast. If this wasn't on cast and when it entered the battlefield, we'd be fine. But so we'll we'll see if we can get there. So our other plan would be to have played Mastermind. You know, been able to draw one, you know, but, you know, we're just not happy. We're not happy with uh, him getting this much land that fast. And sometimes they stall. You know, I've beat this matchup countless times, and it doesn't have to be that way, but they just, when they get draws like this, it's just, it's instantly over. He's going to neg two, and game's over. They wipe out everything. So... This really, really sucks. So, Snare's good in some aspects. Needle's good. Um, Bowmaster's a subpar. But, it's better than most. Damnation can come in. Sprite is also a bad thing. We'll just bring in the Bowmaster. Alright, we'll go with this. Hey, 
Drown's good too in a lot of ways. Or, or not Drown, but. Um, dress Down is good in a lot of ways. Go ahead and do that. But if he turned like four or five Olmogs, like there's nothing you can do. That's like one of the biggest problems with his deck. So I think all Olmogs too powerful. And uh, especially if we get stuck on two lands. See, if we would have had more land and I could have had two more lands to be able to counter that next uh, that next spell. Would have been fine, but we can't. So. All right, we'll keep this. But sometimes they get they get really good draws. Sometimes. We're not entirely happy with our hand, but it's keepable. So we'll just we'll cling to our card advantage and we'll go. Okay. So we're going to throw Mastermind. We seem to be able to get. We're going to grab a basic. So. Let's see what we get. Riptide. We'll go ahead and play Delta. So we're at least going to draw off the star, probably, unless he waits to do it during our turn, which he doesn't really want to do. So. Okay, that's a power plant. He's considering whether he wants to pop it or not. And we have to end this game pretty quickly, so we're going to go ahead and snap. So. Yeah, this, this is one of those, the longer the game goes, he has more and more mana to cast things. And we'll just see. He's gonna. He might pop this at the end of mine, just to draw and get around things. So, so the other thing is, dress down doesn't stop his Olamog, because that's really the only thing I'm really worried about. I mean, there's Ugin and stuff. Yeah, that sucks, but all that stuff is like in. I can like play around that. What I can't play around is Olamog. Killing, exiling permanents. Okay. We'll go ahead and draw off this. So he's feeling the effects right now, mastermind, and that's good. We want that to happen. So I'm considering. I think we should just exile this. Or, or I won't exile because he only has this. I'll go ahead and cast this. Oh, we can't let him get the other piece. So. Yep. So hopefully he doesn't just natty draw it. So. 
because that the force of negation is really, really nice to have in my hand. But he only has three turns left to live. So we're naturally I can make it two with the mastermind. So here we go, we're drawing. I also could um mastermind there and draw two cards if I really want. So yeah, he's gonna get hung up, I think. And I probably should have mastermind, honestly. Um but I would have never known to draw a counter spell there. So we'll see if he draws multiple cards per turn, then there's just a lot he can do. He has a lot of board wipes like this. Um He has mana for days, so it's like, what do I want to do? Do I want to counter this O stone? You know, and then rebuild. Um, like, how do how do I want to do that, or do I want to go a different route? You know, because now I have to I have to steal deal with everything in his hand. So let's see what this next card would be, because that's what I'm missing out on. So the next card would have been a damnation, which doesn't help us really at all. So um Alright. Well, I can back I can bounce uh, the snap to my hand. Um which will probably happen if he does something crazy. He's exiling. Which is... We expect that, but I draw two cards off of it, so I'm pretty happy here. Okay, Blossom, which doesn't mean anything now. And a land. So. Four, six. So he has ten. Omog? What'll happen is if he all mugs here, we we might just bounce period at the end of the turn. That might be the right play. Ugin. Okay. So he's gonna neg two, and we bounce the snap to our hand. I could have preemptively done this too, but he has one man up. Yeah. Also could have drew a card, but we've already done that in this turn. So. And I'll just go ahead and make him sacrifice this. Not that it matters. Okay. Um, tar pit means more, and I guess we just blossom, I guess. Alright, we've got some things to do here. So keeping up Snap is probably good too, but getting a Blossom going, because last, as a last resort, I can actually Snapcaster and, you know, Tar Pit and win. But I think getting him to 1, he just loses. So we, have a lot of, we have a lot of things going on.
There's the old Mong. So he's going to get rid of the Blossom, probably. And Okay, these two. That's fine. So. And we're just going to, we're going to snap. You, you see, if we flood out against this, we can easily beat this. This isn't, this isn't crazy anymore. So, get a bit of Blossom. So. I can't dress down because it would stop my snap. So. Actually, I should probably. I should probably just damnation because that's what it's in here for. Um, is this indestructible? It is indestructible. It's it's in here to do this combo, to dress down and then damnation. So I think I need to. So I have to snap here. I have to snap edict. So, so I have my combo in my hand for these things. So, but that's the only reason the damnation is in here is um, to be able to dress down and like you can take out you can take out things like uh, worm coil engines too. There's no, there's no big problems with that. So. Because if you dress down, it, so if we get an untapped land here, we can do it. And he's just going off. This is the problem when they start getting mana. They can just start doing dumb stuff. You're gonna get a walking Bautista, probably. Um, no, hey, why am I for the blossom? No, he has a green to take care of the blossom. Like, it's just ridiculous how much stuff this guy D can do with like one mana. And then he'll get something, even if I get this combo off, he still gets to go get something like liquid metal, co liquid metal coating like next turn. Even if I can handle all this stuff, like so. Okay, well that's nice. Well, I can't do that, but I can... I can dress down, make this just a regular creature when he attacks so he doesn't gain life. That's nice. I can also... I can block and do what two damage to it with March. So can't kill it with drown. So that sucks. Okay. I probably should have attacked with the fairy to the Karn. That's probably a misplay. So, attack Karn so Karn goes away. I don't know what he... I can counter Liquid Mail Coating, so... But this puts the card in the graveyard, and that matters a little bit. So he would have five cards in the graveyard. Walk Batista. Okay. I think we, we can dress down here, and then it just goes to the graveyard as well. So this does matter because this would turn on Drown. If you see what I mean. Um, hmm. I can also march the rush of sorrow with this away. But I can't. I think I'm gonna have to do that. Yeah, we'll drown or dress down. So what this does is it makes him this his ability to get gain counters is the enter the battlefield effect. So oh, there's your land we needed. So this will just go to the graveyard. Um, so hopefully he plays a spell. 
hopefully he just goes and gets something right away. We would definitely like that to happen. Yes, this is exactly what we wanted. Um, we'll see what he gets. End of turn. Before this goes away, we'll just kill the worm coil. Because he has eight mana. Big Karn, or one, <laughs> or one less for that. We can see what he gets. He might. Question is what? He probably negs. Probably the Snapcast. Or no, he probably pluses here. I would think he pluses. We still kill the worm coil. Um, we throw away the damnation, I think. So we'll go ahead and kill that. It just dies naturally um, because of that. And I think we throw the damnation away. Uh, because we have Snapcaster. Um, we're not so worried about that. And we've dumped our dress down, so there's no way getting this back. So, and we're only playing with Singleton of it, so... But as you can see, it it's really rough against his creatures. Um, so we got him where we kind of want him now. A little bit. Okay, I can bounce this Karn. Which I think I will, and just uh, counter it with uh, Snap Drown. So hopefully he doesn't get like anything crazy. <sighs> Power that out. We'll attack Karn. So everything's probably going to work out here. Um, he'll be at four. He'll lose Karn, both Karns. Um, He'll try to cast Karn again, but counter Karn, and then and then we swing for lethal because we'll assume he has nothing else to do. Because at this point, he probably—I'm not sure exactly what he would do. So, but he has to pretty much plus Karn, I think. If he has Relic in hand, uh, he feels really bad. It's so hard to do this against them because Drown is just so uh, limited. Oh, he had double Karn. Okay. Um, let's see what he does. He might take the last card in our hand. But, well, he has to take a Snapcaster Mage. Doesn't have a choice. And then we'll kill Karn. We'll leave him at four. Well, I, I can actually gain a bunch of life too off of it. Just this is the really nice thing about March is I can just dump all of it. Um, Pre-combat, so take him down to one. He has to then have two kill spells aboard wipe, and then be able to deal with the brazen bar where that comes down the next turn after he deals with that. That's making him deal with a lot. So with only two cards in hand, so so he'll be able to wipe boards. He's gonna take out graveyards here, for sure. And draw. So, and at this point, he has to have a removal for this and and something next turn. Okay, that's good. But he's going to draw anyway. So we'll see.
Yep, we got there. Cool. Is that one card? Who did it fencing? Yeah, it's not really that good. It's good, but it's not awesome. So, we consider some of these lists play World Breaker. And it's nice to get them out. I don't think, oh, you know, I don't think it's going to happen. I think we're good the way we are. Um, everything kind of came together there. But we just can't allow him to get, like, the first game. We can't allow that to happen. Spell Snare. We would consider Spell Snare, but it's so, so situational. And they only play... The Sylvan Scrying is the only target for bringing Snare back in. Um, and we we assume that Force Negation is just a better version of that. Opens up with that. So we have Field of Ruin in our hand here. Um, that's convenient. <laughs> yeah, I typically wait out. So. Alright, so we got a couple things here. At least we got an opt. Um, and he's not going to get Natty Tron um, turn three, most likely. So. So we're going to take out. Well, he can get Nagatron, can he? But we have Edict, so we're not we're not horribly positioned. So we'll opt. Oh boy. Um is this good enough? I don't think it is. Because we're not gonna be able to play it for a while. We need we're better off just sending it. And getting something else. Okay. Okay. We'll go here. Um, okay, and that's and this is why we send that away is to get a bomb card, a force negation that can that can handle a lot. Um, Depending on what he plays is like we bounce worm coil. We will pitch for this. So yeah. Well like he's gonna take a land if we can't really accept that right now. So I think we Do we get the bar the worm coil or Mm. Do we think, what do we want? Do we want to be able to mitigate his draws? I think we can do that. I think we can get rid of Borrower here. Okay, we're going to make this, this is something I haven't done before. Um, and I think this makes a lot of sense here because of this. This play right here will define the game. Um... So, we get to draw off this, play Field of Ruin, take the tower out. So, okay. Okay, Field of Ruin. So, and just pray he doesn't have another tower in hand, I guess. I, I hate, I hate decisions like this. So, let's take the tower out. Sometimes I don't target the tower, sometimes I do. Like, you just never know. Okay, he's going to take that card. Do that. Get an island. Alright. Okay, you got that. 
Let's see if he has Natty. Yep. So he obviously does that during my turn, so I can't draw. So if you worm coils, we feel bad. Um, if you if you worm coils, we um, of course you would have to get Tron again. Okay, he found it. Of course, and this is why I don't typically get the towers. I typically hit like a mine or a power plant. Something that came down first. Um, so we can mitigate this a little bit. Um, not much, though. So we're hoping, uh, we're hoping like last time, and then he'll get this, he'll get Olmog. So, like, yeah. Dude, this is going to be a tough game. Um, we hope we get the dress down in our deck. So we have a horrible chance to draw it, but... You want a dress down here. So. And we can't. We can't really opt for it. So we're. Yeah. We're sunk. A resolve worm coil. This is what I didn't want to happen. I didn't want to. If we throw this away. You know. I can at least bounce this. Make him play it next turn. And then kill it. So, because I'll be able to get him to sack it, we can opt then. So we'll, we'll be able to do something. So it's not all lost, it's just annoying. Especially if he Planeswalkers here, whatever the Planeswalker might be. Um, it's not, not particularly good. So we'll do this. We don't want to take life off this. So. Um, this is another reason why Preordain is just better. Um, or... Preordain is not as good. Because in this situation, you know, holding up two mana, it, it forces him to respect counterspell a little bit. Um, and we can opt at the end of turn to... He's going to go get more mana for another tower. So... Yeah. Uh, he's all long mana. that. So we can get rid of the... We're really worried about the life linker here. That's all we're worried about. Okay. We can handle... We just don't want him getting life. We we want to end this game as fast as possible. We're actually okay with the O-Stone too. So I'm just crying. Jeez. Just so much mana. Scar. Still has three mana, so he can. Okay, can't do that yet. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the grave, and we do this to get a fresh card on top, basically. That's not quite what I meant by fresh card. So we're pretty hurting right here. He's going to O Stone, but we're going to preemptively bounce this. Well, maybe not. Him getting three life seems not important compared to to do that at the end because he's gonna unless he puts uh fake counters on these so we'll we'll let that go 
Can I bust this? Okay, yeah. He's really playing to get around this. This is the good thing about Mastermind, is it really helps things like this. Okay. Okay, I'll let him gain three life, and then... But if he... What I really don't want him to do is know I have the Borrower to put in play to have five. Because killing him in three turns is really, really nice. So I think... Did he dead draw? I think he did. Six, go to... Okay. Let's see if he dead draw. Dead draw. Just know if I if he has three life when I uh, this game's over, then I made the wrong play. It's, it's get rid, getting rid of this is actually quite important. I could also make him draw a card, but his draws are so much more impactful than mine. <sighs> so we have to keep this as kind of a threat out there. Hopefully we get something crazy and good. If Worm Coil didn't have lifelink, uh, we'd be much happier with it. So we can we can now force a negation pretty much everything. Uh, so what we don't want is we don't want Olamog. We don't want creatures, basically. If we can keep him to planeswalkers only, then we can we can win this game. So because I can kill him in three turns now. If I so he, he's put a fake counter here to keep the token. So I mean, he's got that. But we want him to O stone just this. So this is hurting him in other ways as well. I could have also waited for him to like fake counter like the life linker because he was definitely going to do that um, in the Blaze Braze Morrower. So we we have that to think about as well. Yeah. So but O Stone is like the deterrent always. So three turns. I have four turns to live. Okay. We need threats. We need bounce. Like, get rid of this. Anything to get rid of this. So. I will take another hit off this, though. So we'll... Because we will basically allow him to hit us like three times. Because there's nothing in his... Like the Ugin comes down, that hurts, but at this point, you know, mana is not an issue. So Olamog sucks, but we can get rid of it. I don't know. So, uh, uh, we, we don't have a choice here. We have to counter this. Yep.
so the big question is, is do I go ahead and get rid of this and I think I wait one or two turns and then get rid of it just in case he does all along um, so this is going to be a quite a close game so if I would have made the play earlier he would have been at 10 life so But he can pop this. He can pop this whenever. So it's it's one of them things. And if he plays like a okay, that's good too. It's really good. Oh, he put a he put a fake counter on the relic too. So. Take one more hit off the token. The worst thing about the token is uh, is it doesn't add to the graveyard. One of the other things is we have relic. You can just pop relic and this goes away, but not for the token. Um, so we have a choice. We can let this hit. Let him go get whatever he's going to get. And then edict it. Or did it, he's going to pop this? I think we have to make him pop, and we just draw off that. Yeah, that's what we do. So, because if he pops, he draws, and we draw. So we're we're cool with that. So it's very possible we get a counter spell here. Something, something of use like that. It's coming through, saving the day. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> we we like that. We're we're pretty pretty good with that. He has mana for days though, so we're probably gonna win for chess clock. All right. So we kind of play this differently now because Ugin comes down. If he if we go to one, um, if we go to one, Ugin comes down and is the problem uh, because he can just bolt us like Ugin. So staying at four is actually advantageous a little bit. So, it's a big question of whether to go ahead and do this, because, yeah, I think we go ahead and pop, pop this now. Make sure that we do the token. Yep. And then we just play this out. Trying not to give him a two for one. Sucks. So, remember, you should be at six. So, you should be at four if I if I would have done that out there. Um, so we just keep going like this. We want them to pop and get the one for one. Uh, we are we are in control here. Absolutely in control here. So, so he'll he'll be able to decide. Okay, he's popping it now. So, what's our next card? That won't show us. Uh, we are in pretty good control here. Uh, we're only we're not worried about Olamog at this point. Um, I mean, we are. Don't get me wrong. We're worried about that, but what we're worried about is Ugin. Um, but even Ugin comes down and doesn't do much. Um, he he hits us, and then we play Borrower Mastermind and kill him because he'd be at five. Or well, 
No, he would uh Ugin beats us here. Um so Yeah. This is uh yeah, he spent that extra couple minutes, so he lost on that, lost on time. Unfortunate. So I wanted to play the whole game. The whole match.